Rock Bar, this is so hot. Hello, my name is Osama Ali Salah Muhammad, peace be upon him, and I am a proud Muslim. Now, I have been a Muslim ever since a very young age, and for the longest time I wanted to be a pilot when I grew up, just like my father. But sadly, he crashed into a building. But that's not really important. What matters is that Jihad will soon rule the world, and unless you convert to Islam, we will have no choice but to kill you. So, please follow these basic steps to learn how to be a Muslim. Step 1. The look. You cannot just say that you are a Muslim, no. You need to look like a Muslim as well. You can start by growing out your beard to be nice and long, just like mine. Basically, you're going to want your face to be hairier than your favorite goat wife. Secondly, and very important, the turban. You cannot be truly Islamic until you master the turban. You can order one online, or you can make your own like I did. If you want to make your own, all you need is a towel and a rubber band. Congratulations. Your Islamic outfit is looking simply explosive. Praise be to Allah! Now let's move on to step two. Step two, oppress women. Another great part about being a Muslim is that you can oppress the women, since they are less than a man anyway. That is, according to the Quran, it is extremely important that the women stay fully covered so that us men don't look at her and have lustful thoughts. Otherwise, well, we will have no choice but to kill her for causing us to have lustful thoughts. Why don't we go outside and make sure that all of the women are being properly oppressed? Now I'm outside. It's a very nice day and I'm looking around. Thankfully, I do not see many infidels around. Oh my Allah! That, that woman! She is practically naked! She is showing her ankle! I'm beginning to have lustful thoughts. <sighs> Cover yourself, woman, you unclean heathen, or I will have no choice but to stone you! Much better. Another successful day oppressing my property, I mean, oppressing the women. I have to say, my favorite part about this whole thing is that so many idiots think that the burqa and the head covering are just a fashion choice. They are so stupid, they do not realize that for many women, the Islamic veil is not a choice, and that women in the West have even been killed for removing it. <laughs> what can I say? People are very stupid. Well, now that you have completed the look, and you are finished oppressing the women, it is time to move on to step three. Step three. Remember that we are peaceful. After all, it is only the most peaceful religions that need a constant reminder that we are peaceful. Remember, no matter what anybody says, us Muslims are a peaceful bunch. Don't bother to realize there have already been 1,274 Islamic attacks in 50 different countries in 2016 alone. No, ignore that. We are peaceful. Don't bother to realize that Islamic attacks on America date way back to the 1970s and are still occurring even now. We are peaceful. Don't bother to realize that Muslim refugees are bringing a mass rape epidemic and sexually abusing women and children in Europe. We are so peaceful indeed. Don't bother to realize that moderate Muslims have recently admitted to still holding radical views. How many of you are normal Muslims? You're not extremists. You're not radical. This is normal Sunni Muslims. Please raise your hands. How many of you agree that men and women should sit separate. Please raise your hands. We are so peaceful. How many of you agree that the punishments described in the Quran and the Sunnah, whether it is death, whether it is stoning for adultery, whatever it is, if it is from Allah and his messenger, that is the best punishment ever possible for humankind and that is what we should apply in the world well, who, who agrees with that how can you not believe we are peaceful just look at how peaceful we are and the best perk of being a muslim is definitely this after an islamic attack the entire media rushes to warn everybody not to be islamophobic 
In fact, it seems the world cares more about Islamophobic tweets rather than the actions of us wonderful, fun-loving, peaceful Muslims. Remember that us Muslims are peaceful, and if you don't believe that, we may have no choice but to blow you up. Hashtag Muslims are peaceful. Hashtag ISIS is peaceful. Step 4. Kill the infidels. Now that you know what it takes to be a Muslim, it is time for the final and most important step. Killing those pesky infidels. After all, it's like I always say, I will cast terror into the hearts of those who disbelieve. Therefore, strike off their heads and strike off every fingertip of them. Wait a moment. And that is a verse from the Quran. It's now time to get ready to kill those pesky infidels. Praise be to Allah. We need to first choose a weapon. Guns are honestly kind of boring, and you could use a knife to behead them, but my personal favorite is definitely a bomb. That way I can hopefully die as well and meet my 72 virgins. I was able to make this homemade bomb in a lab at my school. I told the teacher that I was building a clock, and she believed me. I believe it is now finally time to use it, so let us go. I have now arrived at my infidel friend's house, and we are looking to have a very explosive good time. Let us go in, I'm very excited. Do you have something in your shirt? No. So, so what have you been up to lately? You know, I've been good lately, actually. I'm, I'm taking an art class, and uh, this time I'm making drum Muhammad. Uh, this is what I have so far. So yeah, I still gotta like, color it and stuff. Allah. Were you saying something? No, I'm just simply mumbling. Praise be to Allah. Okay. So yeah, I still gotta like, color it, add the shading, and then Allah. Dude, come on. I know what you're trying to do. Just stop, man. I'm sorry, my apologies. Praise be to Allah. Like I was saying, still gotta like shade it and like color it and like. Really, dude? Come on! Allahu Akbar! And now that you have learned how to be a Muslim, you hopefully should have learned. No one should want to be a Muslim.